Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to report to you guys that Verizon is making capacity improvements on their network. Now, as most of you know, Verizon is usually very quiet about improvements and upgrades until it gets to a certain percentage that they feel comfortable announcing it or until it's done nationwide. So this has been spotted on the East Coast in New York, New Jersey area. Verizon overnight flipped the switch and they opened up the bandwidth on band two up to 20 megahertz. Band four has been there at 20 megahertz and band 13 has been there at 10 megahertz. So now they have a total of 50 megahertz on the downlink. And this is, if you remember me saying this on another video, what the ideal configurations are for gigabit LTE. As Neville Ray stated, in order to achieve the, giga, the true gigabit LTE speeds, you have to have 50 megahertz on the downlink, 256 qualms, 4x4 MIMO, all combined. So this is what Verizon is doing now. I don't know if this is in any other places. I know there is a few places that don't even have any band 2, such as El Paso. We don't have any PCS spectrum for Verizon, but we have the CLR spectrum the uh, 800 megahertz band 5 so this is definitely good to see that verizon is doing this i know t-mobile has bashed them for you know when they, when they started offering unlimited their speeds have been dropping and a few testing firms have confirmed this as well and i mean we keep it honest on the channel when they started offering unlimited with the hd their network took a took a hit you know we we're, we're honest it took a hit but they felt comfortable that the network was ready and they knew that they could make these type of upgrades to get the network up to speed. And with this configuration, the three carry aggregation with the 20 megahertz on band two and band four, plus the 10 megahertz on band 13, with the site density that they have achieved, they are starting to see speeds like these in the areas that they have it rolled out. So 169 on the download, 30 on the Upload upload didn't finish on this test, but it it probably ended around 30. 227 on the download and 32 on the upload. Upload may have been a little faster since it's about halfway through. But these are the type of speeds that people are seeing in these markets where they have opened up band 2 to 20 megahertz with the site density that Verizon has achieved by adding more towers and small cells. So... T-Mobile, in a way, was right that Verizon's network slowed down a bit, but that doesn't mean that they're just going to lay down and allow the network to keep running slow. They are going to make the proper enhancements, the right investments to get the network up to speed. They didn't necessarily make the proper investment in the 600 megahertz auction, but they invested in the higher band spectrum. They invested in densification and it is now starting to show all the Verizon improvements that they have made so far are long term in my opinion so them not going after the spectrum I kind of see why now but the little spectrum that they have left in the mid band well the to up the megahertz they're doing it and it's starting to show now there has been another report Verizon has been doing this since 2015 but they are also starting to turn it on as well, is the 256 qualms. So if you look at the download modulation layer, 256 qualms on layer one and two. Now, Verizon has said in a statement that they are going to offer this on all their bands. Right now, currently, T-Mobile is only offering these technologies on band four from what I've been reading. Verizon is going to do it on band 13, band 2, band 4, and whatever other bands they have from what I've been reading up on. So it looks like the 256 qualms in this configuration is added to layer 1, which is band 4, and to layer 2, which is band 13. Now on the upload, they still haven't upgraded to 64 qualms. As you can see, it's still at 16, but I'm sure that's in the works as well. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys, keeping you up to date along the way as Verizon does these improvements. I know they're not going to do it until it's mainly complete across the nation. 
So bit by bit, I'm going to keep you guys up to date as I start seeing speeds improve on Verizon. I will keep you guys up to date. I've also seen AT&T do this as well. AT&T has been achieving 260 megabits on an iPhone 7. I will report on that later on this week. I'm looking at if this has been the 256 qualms or if this is just pure spectrum that they're adding. They have a lot more spectrum than Verizon. So I think it could just be the spectrum. But speeds, you know, those speeds are crazy from what I've seen. So <clears throat> definitely leave your comments in the comment section down below letting, letting me know if you have seen this as well. I just wanted to report this to you guys. Or if you have seen in your own experience a boost of speed in your area from Verizon. Here in El Paso, just a little bit info on that. They have slowed down significantly. I've been to several areas like i told you guys last week i had to go car shopping so i was on a street called airway at a car dealer and i wasn't even getting one megabit i had to connect to their wi-fi so and that area is served by four towers so i don't know we'll see currently el paso band 450 megahertz band 1310 they are carry aggregated, but no additional spectrum has been added. They're just adding towers, 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 towers. So I will definitely, the moment band 5 is available or band 66 is added, I will keep you guys up to date on that as well. For band 66, I will have to get in another device as the iPhone 7 Plus does not support it. But it does support band 5. So I think that'll be the band that goes up first. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Sorry about this weekend, wasn't able to drop anything. Very busy, Memorial Weekend, so it was very busy on that. But just made this longer video for you guys this morning with some good information. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give these videos a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.